Okay, hello. Uh, my plan is to do uh, several uh, video segments on the subject of uh, doing uh, composites, analyzing composites with FEE's Kefir solver, uh, native Kefir solver. Uh, however, uh, this first segment, which is very short, I want to say a few words about that. Why is it that you don't see much stuff uh, on internet or on Google when you Google it uh, that handle the uh, composites using Katia's FEA solver, okay? Well, first of all, uh, if you're familiar with the Katia interface, the mechanical design workbench has these main uh, module, has these uh, uh, Module. So the, let me put it this way: uh, mechanical design workbench in Katia has these modules, and uh, uh, the one that deals with composite composite design is right here. And there is a there is a there is a closely related uh, 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 module which is composite grid design. Okay, and uh, these these are both well established and they're widely used in industry. And in fact, they're industry standards and they're excellent training resources on learning, uh, uh, for example, uh, composite composite design, doing composite design with Katia. This can be in YouTube or it can be you Google it. You're going to come up with uh, uh, all kinds of uh, documents. In fact, uh, uh, there, is an, there is an outfit uh, in, I believe, in, in uh, uh, I think it's in Kansas, uh, but uh, associated with Wichita State uh, University, uh, which is called National uh, 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 National Institute for Aviation Research, and they have a, a very good document on using uh, Katia and do composite uh, design on it. Okay. Now, in fact, I'm taking a, a relatively old part from. Uh, a, uh, a promotional uh, uh, document for by Ceftra, which which actually is drawn in this way. Uh, so Katia Katia's native solver, which is by the way called Elfini, is in this corner. So for for a designer who may not be a specialist, sometimes they may not be even a, an engineer. Uh, and uh, this, this, for relatively low sophistication, uh, well, Katia is Katia's FEA native FEA solver sits here. And uh, if you want more uh, more specialized topic, more advanced topic, then you can do your Katia stuff and then ship it over to Abacus. Uh, uh, Abacus. It over being meaning imported into Abacus uh, CAE software, for example, or the version of Katia, which is called Abacus for Katia v5, and do the problem. But my addressing the issue is for this group of people. So it's you, you don't want to do very, very, very advanced stuff, uh, and you're not a CA specialist, therefore, uh, you want to do some basic FEA analysis in whatever is available in the Katia program, okay? I, I mentioned to you that the, 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 the native solver embedded in Katia v5 is a program called Elfini. And uh, it's a strip down of the Elfini, but it does the basic stuff that uh, a typical, either a typical, uh, you know, engineer or a student may need. Now, when it comes to uh, Abacus, Abacus was acquired by Simulia, by Simulia Corporation, which is part of the Dassault Systems, uh, the same owners of Katia. And uh, uh, it's a very good, very good FEA solver. Uh, and in fact, because the saw is moving toward 3D experience and they have a version of Katia. It's exactly the same thing, but the icons and interfaces, they're different. Katia in disguise is appearing in 3D experience. There, the, the, it, the FEA solver, which was Elfini, is replaced with Abacus if you get the license to it.
Okay. You, as I mentioned earlier, if you Google uh, or look at YouTube, you see excellent free training resources on Abacus Theory, and you see none for Catia v5. Of course, you see stuff done with Catia, Catia v5 using the composite design, but you have not come across uh, any resources which tells you how to use Catia v5's solver to analyze simple composites, okay? Now, I don't want to, I, want, I don't want to say that, uh, you know, uh, CATIA native solver or Abacus is the only thing that's available. There are other choices. For example, of course, solver, Elfini is right here. We can see that. And this is 3D experience, which in it is the stripped down version of Abacus. There's the Abacus CAE. And there's ANSYS and, and, and there's Elastina. In the case of ANSYS, they also acquired a company and added a, a, a module to their software called APC, ANSYS uh, uh, Composite, no, APC, ANSYS Pre-Post for Composites, okay? Uh, I'm not sure whether it's ACP or uh, maybe it's ACP, ANSYS Composite Pre-Post, yeah. It's excellent, however, uh, none of these have the, except for CATIA, none of these have the versatility of uh, CAT part of the uh, co composite. For example, if you want to do, I don't know, maybe a, a, a turbine, uh, a, a, a wind turbine blade or an aircraft uh, uh, aircraft engine blade uh, uh, with, with, uh, with, with composite made of uh, laminary composites, then making it is extremely easy in CATIA. And of course, that's a relatively simple problem. You can also do it with the, with the CATIA's native solver, but you can take that geometry and ship it into Abacus CAE or ship it into ANSYS and then uh, uh, do use their uh, solver. Okay, we will, in this series of videos that I'm making, I will concentrate on CATIA V5's native solver. It's buried inside of CATIA, and majority of the people who have license to CATIA v5, they also have the license to uh, uh, to its native solver. There may be, you know, cer certain situation where a company has got CATIA v5, but not asked for this native, sol native FEA solver in it, and therefore uh, that's an exception. Now, the, the, the thing is that in these sequence of video segments, I'm going to make simple benchmarks that either I have the analytical solution or theoretical solution, numerical solution, okay, or even experimental results so that when I show you how to do these simple problems in CATIA v5 and analyze it with FFEA solver, at least you, have, you can see whether they're getting the right answers or not. Uh, you, you have to develop your, your, build up your confidence before actually using Catia V5's uh, native FEA solver for a uh, complicated problem, okay? Uh, because if you don't, if you can't get the answers or don't know how to do it in for a simple problem, uh, it's hopeless to go and do something that's really real. Now, uh, I'm going to read this thing to you. If you take any book and browse through it, any book on finite elements, whether it's theory or practice, uh, engineering or mathematical aspects of it, you rarely see any references to composites, okay? Not only examples, you see a lot of examples done or uh, benchmark problems solved, uh, but none of them involve composites, okay? They don't even have a section for composite design. And that tells you one thing, that this stuff is not trivial. So my suggestion for those people who want to do composites with a software, whether it's CATIA or anything else, is first, or at least in parallel, learn the fundamentals of composites and then do FEA on them. Okay, folks, I'm hoping this is going to be useful for uh, uh, for some of some of the people out there because uh, I looked and looked and looked, couldn't find anything that uh, helped me out. By the way, it is possible to get some resources by registering in a 
you know, in the consult with the, with the, with the, with the, uh, one of the suppliers of uh, Katia or uh, uh, distributors of Katia and pay maybe uh, several thousand dollars for two-day class, three-day class, maybe online class, I don't know. Uh, but it's not free. And uh, I think this, 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 uh, this sequence of videos is going to help some of you who don't want to go that way. Okay, good luck.